Principal Campbell. Shh. How are you today, sir? Oh my god, you're still talking. Sit down. We gotta talk. Um, sir, if you don't mind me asking, what's this all about? It's about you. How are things at home? Um, okay, everything's fine. You still seeing your strength? Of course. You are? Yes. <laughs> okay, look. Let's cut the shit. You reek of booze. I can smell it a mile away. Sir, if you, you drinking? Uh, sir, you're drinking if you give me a few, if you give me a few moments, I, 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 if you give me a few moments, I can I, I explain everything. Let's hear. It. Explain. I mean, look, Keep your job. I, 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 How can I, I fire you? Let's hear. It. I'm like, look, I've had a stressful last two months. It's just, yeah. I don't care. You're wasting my time. You're wasting the students' time. You're a horrible teacher. Look at you. You're a mess. <sighs> sir, you, you you don't understand. I need this job. I understand job perfectly. Right. You know something? Clean out your desk and get out! That's just it. And hell is what I'm living in. I'd be better off dead at this point. Ah, uh, well, man, take it easy. So what's the deal, man? Did she keep you out again? Not yet. The bastard fired my ass. I lost my job at the academy. The only one thing I had going on for me. Now I've lost it all. Once Sarah finds out, she she's gonna leave me for sure. You know what you mean, man? Cyanide, ra razor blades, noose. No, man. What you what you need is a fresh start. You gotta find that fire again. Somehow, somewhere, along the line, that torch you were carrying around burned you out. And now look at yourself. You're all lost in the dark. You lost that fire, you got, you got to get it back, man. You need a clean slate. Clean slate, huh? <laughs> yeah, you got it, man. Here's one more for the road, and I got to kick you out, buddy. Hey, Blackboard. You know what She'll be me. Where have you been all night? Hi, honey. Why don't we have some coffee and some of that cherry pie? <sighs> don't give me that high honey bullshit. What's her name? I know you're having an affair. You come home late smelling like bourbon every night. <sighs> Look, Sarah, I'm not having an affair. I, I just decided to stop at the bar to have a few drinks and to blow off some steam. I am not one of your trashy whores or disposable plastic pussy dolls that you just play with and throw away. Listen, you drunk asshole. I'm sick of putting up with your bullshit. Well, oh, Sarah, look, please let me explain. Things will wor work out just fine. I'll, I'll take care of everything, I promise. Oh, great. Another one of your pathetic, shitty promises. Just like you promised me that you'd take me out to the theater. You know I've been wanting to go out. That's all I've ever wanted, but no, all you care about is yourself. Sarah, Sarah. Get the fuck out of my life. You are a piece of shit loser. I'm done with you.
Thanks for seeing me so late tonight, Professor. I hope I'm not bothering you or anything. <laughs> oh, nonsense. So, uh, what brings you to my neck of the woods? Is everything all right? Uh, you look a little distressed. Well, it's just me and some of the other students were concerned about you. I mean, you haven't showed up to class in the past few days, so I figured I'd stop by and see what's up. Hmm. Well, nothing to worry about. Um, I've never been happier. See, I finally found my true calling. Okay. Well, I'm glad we got that all figured out, and I'd love to stay in chat, but I have Bible study, so yeah. Oh, oh. Not so fast, Alex. I'm about to give you your final art lesson. Oh, you're fucking fun. Tell me, how have things been since our last visit? Oh, I've never been better. That's wonderful, Byron. How are things going at the academy with your students? Well, they're coming along quite well. I have this one star pupil named Alex. He's very talented and I really see him going places. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, I must say, Byron, I'm seeing a lot of improvement here. How are things at home with Sarah? <sighs> Fucking stellar. We just reignited that passionate love spark we had when we first met. Oh, she's fucking incredible. Hell, I finally got around to taking her to the theater. Just what she's always wanted. <laughs> 